Hi, this is lesson number 35 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to manipulate two images and create this beautiful effect using clipping mask and layer mask. Here we have mobile screen. The copy of the same image is clipped in the screen. There is a gradient background, shadow in the lower part and there is a reflection. So let's get started. Here I have image, simple mobile screen and another image is the player in the playground. For your practice, you can search on Google similar images. This type of mobile screen you can also find. Just type in Google mobile screen, you will see lot of images. You can click on the images. For your practice purpose, you can use any one of them. Of course, there is a copyright images you cannot use commercially, but for your practice purpose, you can use any one of them. So here we have two images. If we want, we can work with this document or if we want, we can open a new file. Let's try to create new file. I will go to file, new, medium size 1000 by 700. That is OK. Create. And here we have new document. The first thing we are going to transfer this image without background in this new document. So we are going to make selection. This image is having flat background and it is easy to select. So go to select menu and click on select subject. Almost we have perfect selection in this area. The edge is missing. So we can click on polygon tool and add selection. You need to make sure that add to selection is selected. That is fine. Click on move tool and simply click on drag. Now in the new document, we have mobile with a black screen. Let's close this. The first thing we are going to add uh, background. So click on layers. The mobile is an independent layer. Click on background layer and add new adjustment layer. Click on create new fill or adjustment layer. And here we are going to add gradient background. So click on gradient. Gradient fill dialog box is open and here we can choose the preset. From the basic, I will take foreground and background. And we can click here if we want to edit the color. From this side, I am going to add light blue. So we can click, click on the color choose your desired color, click OK. And even you can double click. Now this side I am going to change. I will add dark blue. So we can double click. Also this way we can access the color picker. And this side I am going to add dark blue. OK. And here we can adjust also. Click OK. So this is how we have beautiful gradient background. To make it a little bit more realistic, we can add shadow, but we can do that later. All right. So the first thing we are going to do is to select the screen area. Mobile layer is selected. We can use magic wand tool. Select this area. To bring this area in the new layer, we can press Ctrl J. If I will turn off the layer one, you can see the screen is copied on the new layer. Now is the time to bring the other image that we have here. Simply click on move tool, click and drag. So that image is part of this document. Reduce the size. To set on the screen, we can reduce the opacity, hit enter. So we can see through that image. Now we can adjust the size. All right. So this is the way we want that the player is coming out from the mobile screen. Now we can increase the opacity, but don't move the image from this place. Let's duplicate the image. Click and drag here. So we have another copy. This copy we will use for layer mask. For now, we can switch off. Click on layer 3 
and this image we are going to clip directly in the mobile screen. So, layer 3 is selected, we can press Ctrl Alt G or you can just bring mouse in between these two layers, press Alt key and then click. So, this layer 3 is clipped with the screen. Now, the second step is we need to reveal that part of the image. So, we will use duplicate, turn on this layer and here we need to make selection. We need to select the main subject. The background is blurred and subject is focused, so it is easy to select. Click on select menu and subject. Alright, almost perfect selection we have, only we need to add selection on the shoes and there is some part of the dress. So, we can click on polygon tool, make sure add to selection is selected and simply add this area. For demonstration purpose, I am just doing roughly, you can make more precise selection. We need to select layer 3 copy and simply click on add layer mask. Once we will add layer mask, the background will be hidden. This is how we get this nice effect on the image. Now, this part of the image is revealed from duplicate and in screen, the original layer 3 is clipped. To make it a little bit more realistic, we can add shadow and reflection. That is simple. Create new layer. This layer we will use for the shadow. To add simple shadow, we can use brush tool. Make sure your foreground color is black. Choose your brush and make it smooth. We can pinch the brush tip this way. New layer is selected by pressing right and left square bracket, you can increase and reduce the brush size that is next to the letter P on your keyboard and simply dab once. So, we have shadow here and this is independent, it is on the new layer. Click on move tool, if we want we can adjust, we can reduce the opacity. Now, we are going to duplicate, we will add under the fit here hit enter key, press alt, click and drag, so we have another copy. Just reduce the size and place it under the shoes, that is fine. Now, we are going to add a little bit reflection here, for that thing we will duplicate the main subject. So, select this layer, you can even press control J, so the entire layer will be copied, here we have we need to flip it, you can press control T or you can go to edit, transform and click on flip vertical. Now, the image is in opposite direction vertically, just click and drag, position it, alright. Now, we are going to reduce the opacity, somehow it is ok, but if we want we can make a little bit more realistic by adding blur. The layer is selected, click on filter blur and Gaussian blur, 1.8 that is enough, click OK. Now, in this area we need to hide the image, so we will click on the layer mask, layer mask of the layer that we are using for reflection. Make sure your foreground color is black and click on brush tool, here we can bring back the brush tip to the normal, this way we can adjust back make sure that the hardness is 0, simply click and drag this way, that is fine. So, this is how we manipulate two images and we get this beautiful effect using clipping mask and layer mask. This is the third lesson about clipping mask and layer mask, it is just because I want to show you that using clipping mask and layer mask with the same technique, we can get different output and there is a many possibilities to work with this feature. You can google the similar images for your practice and try to create this beautiful effect on your image. That's all for now, I hope you enjoy this lesson, if you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification, so you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.